Hi everyone, my name is Xavier Valkars and I'd like to present some of our recent results on the automated design of photonic experiments for device-independent quantum key distribution. This is a common work between the Institut de Physique Théorique in Paris, where I work at, and the Group of Applied Physics of the University of Geneva. So let's start with an overview of my poster. It is in four parts. So first, for you to grasp the motivation behind this project, I will give a quick overview on device-independent quantum key distribution, uh, followed by the representation of the standard implementation uh, using quantum optical circuits. Then we will move on to the core of this uh, project, which is the automated des design part. So our approach to find optical circuits to implement device-independent uh, quantum key distribution in a fully automated way. Then uh, I will show you, uh, I will present some of the, the circuits that we found using our method, and I will compare these circuits to the standard implementation. So device independent quantum key distribution. So this is a, a way that uh, two parties, Alice and Bob, can use to generate a secret key, so unknown to a third party. And to do so, they trust quantum mechanics, they're, they're classical devices, so they have a lab with a computer and so on that they can trust. And they also share an authenticated uh, channel of communication. So this is a, a, a scheme of the of a JQKD protocol where you have a source here that sends a signal that is shared between Alice and Bob and some, measure, some quantum measurement on Alice and Bob's side. Alice has some input and Bob too, and they have some output here. And Eve is considered to have access to all of this quantum mechanical part. So Alice and Bob don't trust this quantum mechanical part, hence the device independent in device independent quantum key distribution. So the protocol is uh, relatively simple. We have we start with Alice and Bob that will pick a setting, so 0, 01 for Alice, 0, 01 2 for Bob. And they will then perform their measurements. So if Alice, Alice picks zero, she will perform A0 and so on. And they will collect the, uh, some outcomes, so A for Alice and B for them. These constitute some statistics, and from these statistics, we can compute the CHSH score. This, it is written here, and it's simply the linear combination between uh, correlators. After that, there, there will be a po some post-processing post steps, so error correction, privacy amplification, and so on. So a, a key quantity in a DXKD protocol is the key rate. So this is simply the number of, of secure bits that can be extracted per round. Um, it is labeled R, and it can be seen as the difference between the, the a quantity called the secrecy. So this is the uncertainty that Eve has on the, on the shared key, minus the correctness, which can be thought as the difference in the in the in the keys uh, between Alice and Bob, the first quantity is really hard to compute because Eve is thought as having a limited uh, computational power and so on. So instead, we can use a lower bound on this quantity that uses the CH state score directly. So it's a simple function of the CH state score. So to implement the AKKD protocol, one of the of the platform is uh, the photonic platform. It has two main advantages. So a high repetition rate, so we can have a lot of the rounds and this is this is a really interesting uh, aspect. And also there's loophole free bell tests that were already implemented uh, using quantum optical circuits. However, there's one main challenge. It's the poor efficiency of uh, such a setup. So it's really not robust. And for, yeah, so for photonic uh, circuits, the, the standard implementation is this one here. So it is photons entangled in polarization. It's simply a SPDC source that generates uh, generates a pair of photon entangled in polarization. So one photon is sent to Alice, the other one is sent to Bob. The measurement settings is settings of this wave plate and the beam splitter that will just rotate the, the measurement basis. And then they just perform some non-photon counting for uh, detection here. So this is a, a simple setup and we try to answer to the question, is there a better uh, implementation using um, photonics? 
So to do so, we use an automated uh, approach. So why the automated approach? It's because when you, there's a lot of progress made in the uh, integrated photonic circuits that allows for complex uh, circuits. So that would be way too long to explore by hand. And there's a lot of elements you can have and so on. So we, we uh, wanted an automated approach. So we started by uh, creating a, a numerical fr framework to simulate in a fast and reliable way quantum circuits. So squeezer, displacement, phase shifter, and splitter, and some uh, measurement like uh, heralding detection, non-photon cutting, uh, photon detector, and so on. This is in a uh, Julia package that you can access on GitLab and GitHub. And once we have this, once we made this uh, numerical framework, simulation framework, uh, we used machine learning. So we used, uh, in particular, a sub branch of machine learning that is called reinforcement learning, and in particular, the PPO algorithm. So this is learning uh, by trial and error. So uh, a simple scheme is here. So basically, you have two uh, main um, entities interacting, an environment and an agent. Uh, the agent send an action to perform to an environment. So the environment can be seen as optical table. This action will be uh, to put certain optical devices somewhere in the circuits. Then the, the environment will optimize all the parameters composing the circuits and give a certain reward. So this reward uh, can be thought as the key rate, uh, for example. It can be something else too. And uh, it will also compute the state of the circuits. And from, it is from these states that, uh, that is sent to the agent that the agent will decide what's the next action to take. And from the past experiments, so from all of the action states reward uh, that, were, that, that were done in the past, the agent can optimize what's called the policy, so which action to perform given a state. So the reward uh, is crucial here, and this is what this is the, um, shaped for a given task. So we gave two tasks to this algorithm. So the first task was to design um, a circuit that gives that yield really high uh, key rate in a lossless scenario. So this is the circuits that we obtain with uh, our method. It's a it's a really complex uh, circuit where there's a succession of uh, two mode squeezers and a single mode squeezers. Uh, Neuraldic detection on the on the third mode here. The first mode sent to Alice and the second mode is sent to Bob. And here you have like measurement A0, A1 for Alice, B0, B1, B2 for Bob. And you can see there's even like squeezing operation into the measurement branches. So really interesting and complex um, setup here. Another task we gave our algorithm was to design uh, circuits uh, that are robust so that can tolerate a really high amount of uh, the highest uh, amount of loss while still having a high key rate. And this was a really unexpected result because, as you can see, it's a fairly simple circuit that we obtained here, where uh, we the state generation part is simply a two mode squeezer, and uh, Alice will uh, perform a displacement operation followed by photon detection. In the second case, there will be a squeezer before, and for Bob, it will be simply displacement and photon detection. So this, uh, we can compare these two circuits with the standard implementation I showed uh, previously, so th this one here. So the polarization setup, I, I, I label this polarization, it's the standard implementation setup presented before, is this dashed blue line here. And you can see that the, the highest key rate um, setup here uh, gives really interesting key rate indeed for, for lossless scenario, however, it's really not robust. Um, and the second circuit that we obtained here is quite interesting because it, because it beats the the reference uh, implementation in key rates and also it is uh, more robust. So we gain two percent of uh, robust uh, of uh, efficiency here. So really interesting um, setup here. And yeah, that concludes uh, my poster. So yeah, I show you how to. Um, our method to, to design photonic uh, experiments for device independent quantum key distribution in uh, an automated way using uh, reinforcement learning. And um, yeah, that's it for me. I hope you will have a, a nice conference. Bye.